Hi, I'm Cyril and I'm from Manila, Philippines. And what I'd like to talk about today would be uh, preparing a project in Reason, recording a MIDI track, and quantizing that MIDI track. So let's start with creating a track. So I pre-prepared already a drum loop here. So all I have to do is create now and add the instrument. So I will add now a bass that I pre-selected prior to recording this tutorial. Now if we go now to our sequencer window right here, it automatically created its own uh, track. So this is where the MIDI information or the, day, the MIDI notes will be recorded over. So let's say I, I'm used to recording my bass and coloring my bass green. So we will now put its track color and set it to, um, let's say, Kelly Green. So now we have our color. Now we let's, let's name our track into bass. So now let's set the levels. The levels here aren't, um, aren't even reaching the red. So we're pretty safe with that. So we can now start recording. So first, we record enable the track, but in Reason, it automatically uh, record enables the track for you. So uh, with this track, for example, the bass is highlighted and the record enable track is already on. Now if you move now to select the drum loop, then we could see the record enable here is on as well. So whatever track you select, it automatically record enables it. And then we can move on. Turn on our click, just so that we have a guide, a metronome guide. Shortcut is C. I usually just uh, leave my pre-count on by default, so that we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 before we start recording. And of course, so we can now proceed. Okay, so I'll just simply copy and paste that clip. And now we can now look and zoom into it. In reason, the shortcut is H for zooming in. So now if we look at the MIDI notes, um, it's pretty much aligned to the grid. But let's just say that I want it to be really on the beat. So now I will se select the notes here. And then if we now zoom in, you will see that the notes aren't as aligned to the grid. So if we now just open our tool window, which is F8 in shortcuts, uh, let's just for exaggeration's sake, I'd like to quantize our notes to 100% and my grid value would be 1 16th. So let's see what happens. So when I press apply. So now as you, as you saw, the notes jumped and aligned itself to the grid. And so now we have a perfectly timed recorded bass line. So if we now go back to our, our song view or arrange view, now if you remember, we only quantized the first clip. So I'll now have to delete the second one and just copy it, which is Command C and Command V. Uh, or I can just press Alt and drag the clip to the new space, to that empty space where I wanted the duplicate to, to copy itself to. And now we have a perfectly aligned uh, sounding bass. So just to recap, we prepared the track in Reason, added an instrument. So in this case, I added an, NX, an NXT sampler. Automatically, once I, once I added it, it created its own lane. And then we renamed our track into bass. We colored the track, and then we started to enable uh, recording. And by default, Reason automatically record enables the track. And then we recorded our MIDI data and then I later on quantized it. And after that, we have that perfectly timed instrument that we recorded in MIDI. So thank you and I hope you learned a bit from Reason.